Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello friends. And it's Debsy and the place to be. It's Debsy. That's me, Debsy. Bloop. Hey everybody. So happy Wednesday. You're seeing this on Wednesday. I'm filming this on Tuesday. Um, you're seeing this on Wednesday and we made it halfway through the week. Almost the weekend, kind of, but not really. Um, so I had come up with an idea to kickstart my butt into getting into the summer. As you all know, I have arthritis in my knees. I have osteoarthritis in my knees and it has affected my mobility quite a bit. Um, I have been guilty of laying around the house and not wanting to go anywhere really because I'm nervous about how my knees are gonna hold up. But I thought I cannot do that anymore. So I need something to kickstart me and get me up and out this summer. So I'm not just laying around the house feeling sorry for myself. So I came up with this. It is a summer bucket list 2022 for my channel. And I thought I would share it and I thought I could get everybody excited about maybe going out and doing stuff and just getting back into life a little bit. So I'm gonna go through these. I'm not gonna be doing all of them, um, but I'm gonna try and do as many as I can and I'm going to do it. I'm not gonna be able to do all of them, but the ones that I can do, I'm going to do them by adapting, by either using my cane or my walking sticks or pulling out my roller and using that. So. Let's jump right into it. First one I have is go to the drive-in. I love going to the drive-in. It's something I try and do every summer at least once. I love it. it. Makes me think back to when we were kids and my parents would get us in the, in the we would get in our pajamas and we would get our snacks. And you weren't allowed to take in, but we took in anyways. And they would load us in the back of the station wagon and then we would either fall asleep through before the second uh, before the second movie or we would forget about the movie and we would go play in the playground so go to the drive-in movie or if there's not a drive-in near you go to a park that's maybe offering um outdoor movie like outdoor movie series um number two go to a farmer's market three go to an outdoor concert it could be a concert in the park it could be um, it could be at a music festival. It could be anything. Um, make s'mores. I love s'mores. Um, take a road trip. It could be anywhere. It could be like a one day road trip, but take a road trip. Go swimming. I love swimming. We just went swimming. We started going swimming last year, last summer at my neighbor's pool and I loved it. Have a picnic. Now for this, I cannot get down on the ground because if I do, it would take a, literally a village and a crane to pick me up. So I'm gonna adapt. I'm going to have a picnic. Go to a baseball game. It could be a major league game. It could be a minor league game. Um, learn something, make something, plant something. Um, be a kid again. You can use your imagination with this. You could, by being a kid, you could, when you go swimming, you could have a noodle fight. You could, um, you could have a water balloon fight, whatever you do makes you feel like a kid again. Go camping or if you're like me and you do not go into the woods per your unspoken agreement with vermin and little creatures that you don't go into their house so they don't come into yours. If you can't go camping in the woods, which I don't, then camp out in your backyard. Um, ride a bike host or go to a bonfire, um, attend a summer festival, watch the sunrise and or sunset, stargaze, have an ice cream cone, eat an ice cream cone. For me, it's not an ice cream cone. For me, it would probably be, um, it would probably be a blizzard or we have this place that's by us and it's called the Meadows the Meadows, and they have the creamiest custard. It's so good. Um, eat, um, eat al fresco at a new restaurant. So maybe there is a new restaurant that you've always wanted to try. And in the summer, they offer 
dining outside. Great way to go. And lastly, I have visit the botanical gardens or some place that just has beautiful flowers. So those are, those are all of the ideas that I have right there. I'm going to print it up a little better because it's not so neat, but I do like that paper. I don't know where I got it from. It was something that was sent to me for free. It's for free. So that is my idea. And I would love for people to join in on them. Am I going to do all of them? No, probably not, but I'm going to try and do as many as I can. And I would love I would love to see you guys join me in doing this. If you have some ideas for the list, let me know. Um, and I think maybe I might check in like every, maybe check in like every week or every couple weeks and, and let, you, let you guys know what I've done and you guys can tell me what you've done. So um, everybody have a great day. And if no one else has told you, I love you. You're loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there because we all need it badly at this point. So everybody have a great day and I love you guys and we're almost there. Bye guys.